Ski, and um, this is a boat that I'm building. And uh, I made a short video to go through some of the steps that uh, I went through and get it to the point I'm at now. Uh, this is the first episode, so uh, hope you enjoy it. So, um, the first thing is, of course, the plans, and uh, here's a shot of the plans um, before I'd done anything. Um, the boat's a Norwegian sailing pram, about a 12 and a half feet long. Um, of course, the first thing is to uh, build a strong back in which to uh, support the boat and the frame. And, uh, it also needed to be uh, portable so I could uh, move it around a shop. Uh, this thing won't fit in my basement. And, so fortunately there's a community center nearby and I uh, uh, was able to set up there. So I built the strong back and uh, then started in on uh, ordering the lumber, yellow cedar planks from BC and Douglas fir. Um, here's a shot of the Douglas fir and uh, had to resaw it down to the right thickness and uh, start cutting up parts. That's the stern transom and a uh, couple shots of the stern transom. And uh, then I was resawing the uh, cedar planks and um, quite a chore. Uh, getting the right blade was a bit of a, a challenge. The uh, first attempt basically heated up the blade and melted the tires. And I went and got a bigger tooth blade and uh, with a silicon steel and uh, that was uh, all I needed. So. After that, we were able to resaw to quite a fine tolerance and uh, went through and uh, produced nine planks in all. Um, this is a shot of six. Um, after that, we had to plane them down to the right thickness, uh, which is about half an inch. Uh, so I started with hand planing one side, uh, that's the hand plane at the end there. A bunch of shavings and uh, then running through the thickness planer and down to half an inch. Beautiful looking wood when it's all done. Then I moved the strong back into the shop and it was of course a little large and we had to make some adjustments to try to uh, fit it in, in, in the community shop where there's of course other users. And then uh, added the first plank, uh, the keel plank, it's brought it into place and um, just to see if the profile was right. And then cut it out to the correct shape in the dagger board slot. I then started riveting the transom together. First go at the uh, rivets, the copper nails with roves and uh, peened over to create a rivet. And then added the knee for the rear transom and uh, mounted the uh, keel plank on the heart, the frame there, the um, strong back. And uh, once that was in place, then some um, molds went in to create the shape of the bow and the stern transom and uh, those are of course mounted on the strong back. Um, the stern transom was in and uh, there's the daggerboard slot again and the next set of planks. These are now three planks, the keel plank and the two um, bottom planks there. So they're attached together with rivets, no glue, uh, just bedding compound between those and uh, then there's a 86 rivets or something to go in and uh, so I started in riveting and uh, a few more rivets. Fortunately Leah was able to help uh, being home for Thanksgiving and uh, put in all sorts of rivets after that. And, and then this, the uh, bow transom went in, small transom and um, the knee behind that just to create four stations on there where the shape of the hull is defined basically. So. Next, I added a batten, sort of to establish the shape and allow a uh, um, bevel to be installed on the plank there to, to accept the next plank. So the bevels are in on both sides, and um, the uh, batten was eventually taken off and um, moved up to the next spot. And uh, you probably can't see the. Uh, uh, there's the next um, garboard plank, and uh, it's being clamped into position and the uh, outline of the of the next plank uh, is traced out on that plank and there 
there's the tracing of what it's going to look like and I'll have to cut that out and uh, plane it and uh, that's actually where we started the video so until next time stay tuned